Hi guys, it's Aaron here. And on today's episode, I want to share my latest thoughts and ramblings with you. Today, I want to talk about confidence and self-belief. Because I think that confidence is something that everyone wants a bucket load of, right? And having super confidence has made my life so much easier because I'm able to talk to people fearlessly. And this means that I just find it easy to be myself, speak my mind. And I just think that people tend to trust me to lead them because I have no fear of, of being judged by them and they don't worry about getting judged by me. So on my travels, I often come across nice little mantras from self-improvement gurus like, your past does not define who you are. Have you ever heard that one before? It's a nice empowering belief. I just wish it was 100% correct. Because the truth is, you are a byproduct of all your past experiences. Because everything you've ever done in your life and your interpretation of each experience serves to make you who you are today. So if you've ever felt shy or a bit awkward at social gatherings, it's because your subconscious absorbed data from a similar interaction you had in the past. And your mind's just found a common trend in the results that you got and has shaped your beliefs, identity and behaviours to match. So, for example, say you stumbled on a few words and felt embarrassed at a party once. Your subconscious mind might tell you to keep quiet at future events. Because this sort of thing happened to me when I was at school. Because I didn't want to stand out, I just kept silent so no one would judge me. And the result was for a long time that I was just a quiet guy. And I'm sad to say that that quiet guy used to stand leading against the the wall at parties, and I literally had the social interactions of an indoor plant. But my mind was just acting in a way that kept me safe from being judged by other people. Because humans, you know, that's me and you, we like to move forward towards short-term comfort, even if it causes some pain. So in this case, say you're anxious to socialize, but you, you're really desperate and you still want to have a few friends and a small sphere of influence, so understanding this concept is empowering because it means that with enough exposure and the right interpretation of your experiences, you can reprogram yourself to really assume any trait that you wish. And of course, the one universal trait that everyone wants is confidence. And I'm not talking about looking confident. I'm talking about being confident. So it radiates through absolutely everything that you do. Because I'm sure you've met some person that's exuded with confidence who is completely at ease and they seem to be able to influence others. Because I used to think that these type of people were literally born with the gift. I thought they you either had it or you didn't. But the good news is anyone can gain confidence in just about any area of their life. But you've just got to know about how to go about it. Because we all have at least some degree of confidence in in some part of our life. I mean, even if it's tying your shoelaces. But seriously, you know, we, we've all got confidence in certain areas of our life and you may be confident with art or cooking, computers or cars. And it's the same with sports. If you're confident in your sport, it's because your brain has gained enough reference points to basically allow you to believe that you're good at it. And once you see, like, there's enough patterns in your success and your ability to do something, it ends up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. And this is really the path that you've got to take to boost your confidence. Because confidence has a direct correlation with positive experiences. So all you really need to do is have more positive experiences and they become your reference points. And so the way really to gain confidence is start talking to people and to, to begin to get positive, positive experiences to fall back on. And obviously this can be scary sometimes because, you know, you're doing something you haven't attempted before and you're testing the waters, pushing your boundaries. And probably at first your conversations will be crap, but that doesn't matter. You'll be surpassing what you're doing right now. Sorry. Yeah. yeah well, right now. And, and that's basically to play it safe, right? So maybe you've been trying to avoid conversation completely. So Give yourself a chance. So when you interact with people, just look for the improvements that you're making rather than what went wrong. And I guarantee that you'll start enjoying your conversations and and reflect back on what you did and why it went well. 
because you'll get, you know, these little bits of tidbits of information and feedback and, you know, things like perhaps the guy at the check re- checkout register gave you a huge smile or a, or a cute girl brushed a hand on your shoulder as she walked past you or something. But these experiences will become reference points so that your subconscious will start to assimilate them. And the more reference points that you collect, the more your mind will begin to see the patterns and use them to create new beliefs about your abilities to talk to people and be more confident. So you'll literally be creating empowering beliefs about yourself like, I'm a likable person. People love talking to me. I, I love being social. I love talking to strangers. And the truth is I really do enjoy talking to strangers. Because the point I'm making is that each new reference point adds another layer to your social armor. So it ends up reinforcing the new beliefs and it creates new positive ones too. Excuse me. And before you know it, each new experience is fed off the last one and it turns these new beliefs and new experiences and then before you even know it, soon enough, you've come to find that you've grown into a, an amazing, confident you and all it took was to start and just literally just allow yourself to become what you always were anyway before it got buried under all this anxiety and thinking too much. But just remember, it's not easy because when you're trying to gain these new beliefs and empowering thoughts, you're probably going to find that you've got confidence in some situations, but not others. So you might find that you can talk to someone at the grocery store, but you can't talk to someone at the bus stop. But this is just, this is just a sign of situational confidence. So it's like that confidence to tie shoelaces isn't going to translate to the sporting field. So your confidence, you've just got to learn to, to get confidence in, universal confidence and and to create universal confidence in all situations you just got to gain more and more reference points in new but comfort challenging situations and and disapprove of any beliefs that are holding you back so this means just forcing yourself to talk to people at the bus stop or at the grocery store and just see what positive things happen as a result and when you've pushed your boundaries in a variety of ways and places You'll just find that you've built up so much momentum that you'll be able to walk into any place, any environment, and you'll already be just briming with confidence. And this is because through your persistence, you've given your subconscious no choice but to create that belief about yourself and accept your new confidence. So no matter what obstacles, when your thoughts follow this, I don't know that person, but I want to become friends with him or her. So I will. And then you're going to be well on to mastering your charisma. So guys, if you've got any comments, questions, sonnets, declarations of war, jokes, rants, or maybe you even just want to get in touch, make sure you've added me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash no stress now. I'm on Instagram at the Maven Coach. I'm Aaron Ellis, and you've been a wonderfully attentive yet eerily quiet student. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.